Sickle Cell Disease Introduction Sickle Cell Disease is an inherited condition characterized by the presence of an abnormal hemoglobin variant, hemoglobin S, called HBS. When HBS exists in a homozygous state, it results in sickle cell anemia and in a heterozygous state, it results in a sickle cell trait, pathogenesis. Sickle cell anemia is an inherited disorder arising from a mutation in the beta globin gene by a single amino acid substitution resulting in the formation of an abnormal HBS. In low oxygen conditions, this variant HBS forms polymers, changing the shape of the RBC from a round disc to a characteristic crescent or sickle shape. This altered shape limits the RBC's ability to flow smoothly throughout the body. It limits the hemoglobin's ability to transport oxygen and decreases the RBC's lifespan from 120 days to about 10 to 20 days only. The affected person can become anemic because the body cannot produce RBCs as fast as they are being destroyed. Also, sickled blood cells can become trapped in blood vessels reducing or blocking the blood flow. This can damage organs, muscles and bones and may lead to life-threatening conditions. Homozygous individuals commonly exhibit symptoms of severe hemolytic anemia and or vascular occlusions. Heterozygous individuals are usually asymptomatic. HPS may be present with other hemoglobins such as hemoglobin A, C or D or with thalassemia, a condition that interferes with the synthesis of normal hemoglobin. Under conditions of low oxygen tension, the heterozygous individuals can develop acute symptoms due to the formation of insoluble tactoids. Tests for sickle cell disease. 1. Screening tests. Sickling test, which is described in detail here, solubility test and rapid card tests. 2. Confirmatory tests HPLC Electrophoresis Molecular Markers Sickling Test The Principle of Testing The decreased solubility of deoxygenated hemoglobin S results in the formation of rigid polymers which distort the red cells to the characteristic sickle shape. Classically, these red cells appear in the form of a thin crescent with two pointed ends and they lack central pallor. In the sickling test, blood is mixed with reducing substance which reduces the oxygen tension due to the oxidative processes in the blood cells inducing the sickling process of HBS in these RBCs. Reagents and materials 1. Sodium metabisulfide 2% freshly prepared Dissolve 0.2 grams of sodium metabisulfide in 10 ml of boiled and cooled distilled water. It should be prepared fresh every time. 2. Petroleum jelly or paraffin wax. 3. Glass slide and cover slip. Procedure. Place a small drop of fresh anticoagulated blood on a slide. Add one drop of reducing substance, that is, sodium metabisulfide and cover immediately with a cover slip. Seal the moist preparation with a petroleum jelly or paraffin mixture. Place in wet chamber and incubate at 37 degrees centigrade for one hour. Examine under low and high power objectives of a microscope to look for sickling. If sickling is negative, incubate for another two hours and re-examine. If necessary, Slides should be re-examined after 12 and 24 hours. Interpretation In homozygous state, that is sickle cell anemia, HBS causes complete sickling of red cells when deoxygenated by reducing substances. While in heterozygous state, that is sickle cell trait, this phenomenon is less marked and holly leaf forms are more prevalent than the sickled form. All positive cases need to be confirmed by gel electrophoresis or HPLC test.
Solubility Test Principle of Testing The solubility test is the most common screening test for sickle cell or presence of HBS. It is based on the decreased solubility of deoxygenated HBS when combined with a reducing agent such as sodium dithionite or sodium metabisulfide in a phosphate buffer solution. Hemoglobin S forms liquid crystals and gives a cloudy appearance to the phosphate buffer solution. If HBS is present, solution has a cloudy or turbid appearance. If HBS is not present, the solution will appear transparent. The solubility test cannot be used to differentiate sickle cell disease, which is homozygous for HBS, from sickle cell trait, which is heterozygous for HBS. Reagents Phosphate buffer is anhydrous dipotassium hydrogen phosphate 215 grams, anhydrous potassium dihydrogen phosphate 169 grams, sodium dithionite is the reducing agent 5 grams, saponin is the hemolytic agent 5 grams, water 1 liter, store refrigerated, this is usually stable for 7 day period. Note well, there are many ready reagent mixes and buffer solutions available in the market for the solubility test. Procedure 1. Take three test tubes marked test, positive control and negative control. 2. Add 2 ml of phosphate buffer to all three test tubes and allow to reach room temperature. Step 3. Now add 20 microliters of whole blood sample from the patient sample to test, 20 microliters of whole blood from known sickle cell trait in positive control and 20 microliters of whole blood from a normal subject. Mix well and leave to stand for 5 minutes. Note, the color of the reagent mixture should be light pink or red. A light orange indicates that the reagent has deteriorated. Step 5. Hold the tube in 2.5 cm in front of a white card with black lines and read for turbidity in comparison to positive and negative controls. The lines are not visible through the positive control tube due to turbidity. The lines are visible through a negative control tube. Step 6. If the test appears to be positive, centrifuge at 1200 G for 5 minutes. A positive test will show a dark red band at the top, whereas the solution below will be pink or colorless. False negative results can be seen with blood with low HP levels, infants less than 6 months of age with sickle cell disease, when HBS levels are less than 20%. False positive results can be seen in severe leukocytosis and hyperproteinemia like multiple myeloma, in presence of unstable HB or variants. All cases of positive sickle test should be confirmed by gel electrophoresis or HPLC method. Sickle cell rapid card test. Principle. The sickle scan test is a lateral flow chromatographic qualitative immunoassay to aid in the rapid diagnosis of sickle cell disorders of hemoglobins A, S and C. A small amount of blood is placed into the buffer-loaded pre-treatment module to release hemoglobin by lysing the erythrocytes. The sample interacts with antibody-conjugated calorimetric detector nanoparticles on the detection card and travel to the capture zones. The presence of hemoglobin variants A, S and C will be indicated by a colored line in that region. Sample Finger stick, heel stick or venipuncture EDTA whole blood samples Reagents 
sickle scan cartridges with polyclonal anti HBA, HBS, HBC capture antibodies. Pre treatment modules with buffer, capillary samplers, lancets, timers. Procedure Open the pouch when ready to use. Obtain a finger prick specimen using the lancet aseptically. Take 5 microliter blood using the capillary sampler. Open the pre-treatment module and transfer the entire sample into it. Replace the cap and mix by gentle inversion 5 to 6 times. Remove the cap and dispense 5 drops of the sample onto the sickle cell cartridge. Set the timer for 5 minutes and take the readings after 5 minutes. The result. Each sickle scan test device has a built-in control. A dark blue colored line in the detection window at the control line can be considered an internal positive procedural control. The control line will appear if the test procedure has been correctly performed. If the control line does not appear, the test is invalid and a new test must be performed. If the problem persists, please contact your local vendor.